All right. Perfect. I like it. Hello and welcome. Well, let's put this riser block on. What do you say? Uh, let's get started. Take this name blade off because I don't want to scratch it up taking these bolts out. I'd say there's a 90% chance I'll have to Put a new belt on there because I don't think this will be long enough after I put the riser block in it. Uh, but we'll see. I was kind of wondering about the front being top heavy, or front heavy. Uh, I uh, when I put this together, I had the quill and everything off of it, and everything was pretty well balanced. I may have to get some help to put this thing back together. Maybe not. Okay, I took this uh, new riser block to the sandblaster and had it sandblasted and I painted it the other day. Uh, now I gotta mill those slots. Now I'll probably have to touch up that green paint again when I clamp it in the mill. I'll probably nick it up, that's alright. Uh, Dave from uh, Australia 
commented on the last video that I didn't mill the slots in this. And the reason I didn't do that is because I wasn't sure, you know, I took measurements with the intention of making this when I had the drill press apart, but I wasn't sure on the exact measurements of these keys that I had to cut in here. So I didn't cut them. Uh, so now I've got to do that. I wanted to make sure and get them positioned exactly right. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I just didn't want to take a chance on not getting them right. Yeah, a little bit of sand got in there. That's all right. Looks good. I think it's going to work good. Yeah, I think that's going to work good. Need to make sure and get the keys fairly close to the way where they were so that the hole in this table lines up with the drill bit on the chuck. I think let's put this one back on and see how it lined up. That eighth inch gap back there. Excuse me. Need to make sure these uh, keys are equal distance from the front. Two inches. Two inches exactly. I think we're doing good. We'll just cut it two inches from the front side here, and let's see if these are two inches or half inch exactly. That was a big concern too. I didn't know if these were, seemed like I had to mill one of these down just a little bit to make it fit right. Well, that's just a hair over five. Five of one. May have to make some new keys. It looks like a, this one stepped, like, like it was a little tighter in one half than the other. Yeah, that's what it was. I had to, the keys that were in there were in bad shape. Yeah, this one's 500 and 503 on one. I'll bet I can just make it half inch and maybe make some new keys. That's what I'm going to do. Hopefully a half inch mill will give me half inch, half inch uh, width. Sometimes it'll go a little over. I'm going to take a chance. If, if, if nothing else, I'll make a bigger key. Okay, I need to go about a hundred thousandths on this end. And 125 on the other end.
This key here is made part of the casting. Oh, it's a yeah, that's a snug fit there. Good deal. So all we got to do is flop it over and mill the other side. Okay, got all bo all four bolts started. Good deal. Well, that's it. <coughs> One thing I'm a little concerned about is this weight going down into here. It's this is bigger. I think the, the weight's about that long, and I think this narrow channel will guide it through this into this narrow channel. But this is bigger inside. I'm afraid that weight might get lost in there and, and bind. I don't think it will, but you never know. Take this rope off and try it. Definitely increase the height. Switch kind of covers up my nice little AV uh, drill press plaque. Let's see if this uh, see if this belt works. I got a feeling it'll have to be a new belt. And uh, as promised, I will make a video on belt placing. Well, it'll work on the uh, low speed. I don't think it'll work on the high speed, though. Nope. That's way better. Love the down feed. That uh, rifle block turned out good. I didn't even have to repaint it. Uh, that about wraps it up for today, but next week we're going to put the Vever mill table, the same, same mill table I put on my other drill press, but we're not going to put dials on it this time. We're going to put uh, DROs. Uh, so we're, it's going to be a mix of high tech and uh, old tech. We'll have uh, digital readouts up here on this old drill press. 
but it's really the more logical way to go. It'll make it really a user-friendly drill press. And uh, anyway, hopefully we'll get that done in the next episode. And then the episode after that will be belt splicing, I hope. Uh, I'm kind of stuck on that. Well, I gotta do this quill bearing too, I gotta do that. Uh, maybe I'll do that next episode too. Never know. Anyway, uh, after that we're gonna do belt splicing. And uh, either way I'll do the belt splicing, but I'm looking for a supplier that's willing to cater to the hobby machinist uh, that will cut pre-cut belts for people at a reasonable cost. Uh, but most belt suppliers want to cater to industry, so it's been kind of a challenge. Uh, but we'll see what I can come up with. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.